Hey everybody! I was on the way back from church today with my oldest daughter Hannah and we were down near Franktown, Colorado, about five miles from our house when we stumble upon a Douglas County Sheriff's deputy that is just dispatching a fresh whitetail. So I did a U-turn, I pulled up next to the uh, Sheriff's deputy and I said, is that kill fresh? He said, it's super fresh. I just shot it behind the shoulder. He threw it on the Kurt cargo carrier. We had it ready to go. Five miles from my house, the easiest meat acquisition of my life. Welcome to Roadkill 101. Since we live in a covenant controlled subdivision here in Castle Rock, I don't want to exactly gut this thing on my front yard. Um, I pulled it behind the gate. We just put a new water tank in yesterday. I have some old cardboard boxes sitting here from that. So I'm going to use those and some plastic bags. Time to put the Outdoor Edge Butcher Light Pack to work. Let's start out with the Gut Hook Skinner. Nice and small compared to an elk. I'm using the boning fillet knife to peel out the back straps. And another venison back strap. The mess was minimal. I laid the cardboard from the hot water tank box down with some plastic bag and an old drop cloth that I was going to throw away. That absorbed most of the blood. I just skinned out the quarters. Uh, I pulled out both back straps, reached in and pulled out the tenderloins. Here's the bullet that I pulled out from the officer's handgun. And a cooler filled with meat that I'm ready to go inside and clean up. You know, a lot of people that don't hunt hear the words roadkill and they get t turned off, totally turned off. Um, no, essentially, what I'm talking about is a deer that got hit by a vehicle. He's laying down, he's uh, paralyzed or something's wrong with him. An officer finished him off and we're talking perfectly clean, cold meat. And it's insane. A lot of people would just drive by that. If you were fearful that maybe the animal was injured too much and maybe had a lot of adrenaline uh, released from his system and maybe that would, um, you know, maybe make the meat tougher or maybe more gamey tasting than what you would like. You could still grind it up and make sausage. It's going to be incredible and nobody would know. It's going to taste better than any sausage you're going to get at a local grocery store. Uh, my meat was perfect today on this animal. A teeny bit of uh, bloodshot meat on one of the shoulders where the bullet just grazed the shoulder. Other than that, the uh, back straps, the loins were perfect. I'm still going to grind it up though because we're a ground meat family, of course. Our fifth kid on the way coming any day now. So we're going to go ahead and clean this meat out and then we'll find out what kind of sausage we're going to make out of this thing. Praise the Lord and pass the venison. Fresh drag marks in the crocuses. Give my body a complete spray down. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Woo!